Hi everyone, my name is Jan Carson. I live right here in Belfast and I'm a writer. Um, I write lots of different things, stories, books, uh, stories for the radio, stories for TV. I love stories. Um, and I also get to publish books. Um, here's one of my books here. And if you look really closely, it'll give you a little clue for what we're gonna talk about today. Because one of the things that I like to write more than anything else is stories on the back of postcards. I've been doing this for years and years and I've actually managed to write almost a thousand postcard stories now and I've posted them to friends all over the world everywhere from right here in Ireland to New Zealand, Africa, America and I'll tell you what guys a bit of a secret but one of the great things about writing to people and sending postcards and letters is that sometimes they send you things back so quite often I get treasures from people back in the post I wanted to show you a couple of my favorite things here and um, this is something my pal Sophia sent me it's absolutely beautiful it's a portable sunset so if I can't get to the beach to see the sunset myself I can have a look at my portable sunset I also got this gorgeous painting from my pal Innes. You can see it there. It's a caravan because I love to get to the caravan and I haven't been for a while so I can look at that, think about Innes and also think about my good times at the caravan. I also got a bar of chocolate in the post today but I can't show you that one because I've already eaten it. Instead, I'm going to let you have a little glimpse at my treasure shelf, some of the things that people have sent me in the post. And we can see here at the front we've got some gorgeous artwork that people have made and a dragon bookmark. It's a lovely shame it's only postcard. And then a recipe book which I'm following some of the cool recipes there. Um, there's a beautiful story about the orcas that someone's written for me. Vintage postcards, a coaster made from a hema beads and right at the end a selection of really nice cards. All of these things came through my front door and they really cheered me up and made me smile. So I thought we can have a go at making our own postcard story today. It's really, really not difficult to do and it's a lot of fun. To start with, you need something to write your story or your message on. Now there are a few different options for this. You can buy a little booklet of blank postcards like this, and they're really handy. Or even better, you can just make your own from a piece of cardboard. It's a cheap alternative. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And that means you can put your own beautiful design on here um, and decorate it whatever way you want. So I'm gonna finish off my design to get started. I've been working today on a story about some children who spend so long in the paddling pool that they begin to actually turn into mermaids. So that's what I've been drawing on my postcard. Not a terribly good artist, but I'm having fun with it. So I'm just gonna finish this off here. Um, but you obviously can draw whatever you want to draw on your postcard. Something that you've seen, something you've read about in a book, something that you have enjoyed on TV, anything you fancy. Um, now please Please don't laugh at my attempt. This is my mermaid boy. What do you guys think? At least it'll make someone smile when they see that in the post. So you've finished your design on the front of your, your postcard now. You want to start thinking about what you might put inside it. Now, um, what you need for this is an ordinary pen, something you can write with, or a pencil or a crayon, whatever you like to, to write words with, and then some scrap paper. I've got a notebook here because I, I like to keep all my scribblings in the one place. So get a blank page um, and begin to, to jot down some ideas about what you might like to write about. You might want to share a favourite memory of the person you're sending your postcard to, something that you've enjoyed doing together, a good time. You might want to give them an update on what you've done in the last week. So tell them a fun story about something you've done with your friends or your family, something you've seen on TV that you really enjoyed, a game that you've played. People love to hear what's going on in your life in a postcard. Or you might want to do what I like to do, which is to make up a story. everybody's got an imagination in there and your imagination the more you work it's a little bit like your ordinary muscles the more you work at it to make things up the easier it is to use and the more stories that you will see everywhere so sometimes I like to look at the world around me just all of the ordinary everyday stuff and then I like to put in something a wee bit mad a dinosaur a ghost a vampire a crazy person from another time who's landed in your house or your school or wherever it is that you normally are and then I like to make a story up about what happens 
So that's what I do when I'm writing postcard stories. Um, so you do exactly the same. Write whatever you fancy. Um, you want to keep it quite short. So usually I can fill about one page of this size and that can fit on the back of a postcard. But if your handwriting's a bit bigger than mine, maybe if less words to go on the back of your postcard. So I've been scribbling away on my story about the paddling pool and the mermaid children. Got it finished roughly here in my notebook and it's time to copy it onto the, the postcard. So this will mean doing it nice and neatly and getting all of your story into a small space. So take your postcard, here's mine, and I'm going to show you how to lay it out and how to, to send a postcard the right way so it will actually get through the post. I'm going to send mine to my friend in Scotland so hopefully it'll cheer her up when it arrives. Now, you've finished your lovely design on the front of your postcard and it's time to write your message on the back. So the first thing you need to do is flip it over onto the blank side like that. And then we're gonna split it into two halves. Every postcard needs two sides. So I'm gonna draw a line roughly down the middle. I'm gonna use dots. Now you could use a ruler if you've got a ruler in your house, but I've had a quick look around and I don't actually want a ruler. That's not too bad. Now, on the right side of your postcard, which is this side, you are going to write the address of the person that you're sending it to. And you might need to get a grown up to help you find their address. That's um, their name, the street they live on, the town and the postcode. And I'm gonna show you how to write that in a little second. What we're more interested in is what goes on this side. Your fun story, your message, the thing that you want to tell the person that you're writing to. So I'm gonna send my mermaid story to my friend and her name is May. So we usually start when we're writing a postcard with the person's name. And you could write to May, but I think I like May a lot. So I'm gonna write dear May, because she's one of my friends. So I'll write that nice and carefully in the top corner. And then I'm gonna write my story here, but I'll do that in a second because it'd be a bit boring for you to watch me writing for two minutes. And at the end, right down at the bottom, you usually sign off with something nice like, I like to write lots of love, Jan. And a kiss, because I like to give her a big hug if I could get to see her. Now, that size for your story this side is where you're going to put the address. Everybody lives at a different place and when you write an address we need to put all the important details in. So I'm going to make up an address in case you all find out where May lives and sneak around and see her. So your address starts with the name. So we'll write May here and then let's pretend that she lives at Upside Down Street. So we write underneath it the number of her house and where she lives. Upside Down straight and st is just short, short for straight um, and may as i told you lives in scotland so she lives in a big city called edinburgh which is quite hard to spell i always have to think about that one edinburgh scotland and then the last bit on your address is a thing that we call the postcode and the postcode is just a special code that post people people use for finding out how where you live really quickly helps them to sort all of the messages and letters and parcels when they go through the post office. So I'll put that down there. EH73LB, which is a made up one as well. Now, looks good, but it's missing something really important, something that will actually make it go. It's missing a stamp. Now, there are two different kinds of stamps you can use. You can use these guys which are first class, they're the red ones, and that just means they go a little bit faster. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a blue stamp today, a little bit cheaper, um, and I'm gonna send one of these to my friend May. So you can get them in a book from the post office. I've just got four left on this one. And this is really, really important. The head of the person on the stamp, and this is the queen's head, it needs to be up the way. So she's not upside down and getting dizzy in the post. And we put her up there in the right corner. It used to be you had to lick stamps but now they've got sticky stuff on the back. So that's our postcard ready to go. 
So I've had a lot of fun this afternoon working on my story about the children in the paddling pool turning into mermaids. Um, I'm going to send it to May now. So I've got my coat on and my scarf. I'm going to head down to the post box. That's the last thing that you need to do when you write a postcard story. You need to actually pop it in the post so it can go off to the big sorting office and they'll work out where it's going from where the address that you've written on. Make sure when you head outside that you take a grown up with you and all you need to do is pop your postcard with your stamp on into the big red post box. Um, I'm off to do that now. I hope you've had lots of fun today and that you're going to have a go at writing your own postcard story and sending it to somebody who you're thinking about at the minute. Um, the best bit of this now is waiting to see if May sends me something nice back. I really hope she does. Have a great afternoon and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.